Welcome back to the Tacoma Holic channel, everybody. In today's video, we are going to cover the Old Man Emo Dakar Leaf Pack Bind and how to fix it. And yes, I was lucky enough to experience this myself on the trail. Sometimes I leave them all parking lot. Get up, get up to a flat spot, Brian. Come look at his leaves. Go to, actually stay right there. Did he break? Did they get stuck? Okay. Yeah, come look at that. It's like, that was a perfect So line. this is what happens with the cars when you don't trim the second from the top leaf. Right there. What? Um, you think that's going to be all right right there? Yeah, I think so. Right. I don't know how to find out if you're wrong. Another half inch. One more, yeah. It's gonna make a loud fucking noise. Dude, I hate this. Oh shit. Ah, oh, come on! That's... God. Come on. I don't even know if I want to pull this last time. That wasn't too so, so anticlimactic. Anti wow. Yeah. What a, oh what a, <laughs> what a dud. For the loudest <laughs> All right, guys, if you have the old Manimu Dakar Leaf Pack on your truck, like I do, specifically, I have the older ones. I can't even remember like the name. I'll put it up on the screen now, but the ones I have are before the HD and standard duty, even though I think they're sort of like HD related. If you have old Manimu Dakars on your Tacoma, you should be aware that they have been known to bind off road, obviously, during like high areas of flexing one side or the other. So if you never get off road, you really don't have to worry about it. Thankfully, there is a simple fix. We will be doing a little bit of cosmetic surgery to the Tacoma today. So if you enjoy seeing things get cut up on Tacomas, especially if they're not yours, stay tuned. Okay guys, so here is my passenger leaf. I have not cut it yet. You can see I went ahead and marked where I am gonna cut it because based on that picture I showed you guys, it looks like it starts to bind right here, would get stuck under the hanger right here on the leaf where it starts to like sort of cave inward toward the end so I'm going to cut it off there and then just about an inch back don't want to do it like farther than necessary but obviously I want to do enough so it doesn't hit this next time I go off road I don't think I've ever had it happen on the passenger side but driver's side a few times and it's certainly a pain I have already done the driver's side here I know the sun is sort of shadowing that weird but pretty much the same exact thing of course mirror image so zero bind hopefully next time I get off road so let's whip out the grinder and make some noise Whip it out, whip it out. Okay guys, this is a very simple process. Here is everything I'm using today. I'll put links for all of this stuff in the description below. Of course, you will need a grinder with a four and a half and a six inch blade. Uh, the six inch comes in handy towards the end because the leaves start getting in the way. I suppose you could use a Sawzall. That might be more of a pain though than what it's worth. A paint marker of some kind just to mark your cutting areas, a screwdriver and hammer to knock between the leaves just to separate them so you don't cut leaves you're not supposed to of course some rust-oleum rust reformer or whatever paint you want to use to cover up the bare metal personal protection some hearing protection gloves and i love these goggles right here they are from dewalt and they're like anti-fog never fog up super great and of course some kind of file set just to get rid of any burrs on the metal i'll put again i'll put links for all this stuff in the description below Hit it again. And went ahead and switched to a six and a half inch blade for this last part.
Yes. And that's going to do it for this video, everyone. If you enjoyed it and found it useful, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and go ahead and comment below. And if you've experienced this binding with some of the leaves on a different leaf pack, I'd love to hear about that too. So far, I think I've only heard about it on the Old Man Human Dakars specifically. As always, thank you so much for supporting the channel by watching this video. Enjoy the rest of your week, and I'll see you in the next video.